Hello Internet, my name is Mihai. It is part 30. The new code was deployed. Let's check if the server is healthy. For that, I will call the server URL several times. Remember the URL, I will show it in the browser. It is the URL and I'm going to make Jenkins to call it. For that, I go to Node.js backend repository, main branch, open the file pipeline config YAML. Here I'm going to create a new configuration. It is health check, new line, two spaces. Let's define the path. It is HTTP path, colon, open double quotes, copy the URL from the browser, paste it here in the YAML file, in the new line, I write the expected response code. I expect the response code to be 200. I put it on purpose in double quotes because I want it to be treated as a string, not as a number. Also, I will define how many times Jenkins should run the health check. I will write it four. And also I will write how much time Jenkins should wait between every health check. It will be three seconds. Check git changes. I see I created that health check. Apply the change. Write the commit message. Edit health check configuration. New line. Check up health. Commit and push. I want to create the check server script, open shared library repository. Here in the VARS folder, create a new Groovy file. It is check server health.groovy. Add it to git. Let's write the code. It is public void call. In parentheses, I will create the attributes map. The default value is an empty map. In the first step, I will get the variables. Next, I will call the server URL. And I will validate the status. The plan is ready. Let's define the variables. Final string URL equals utters URL. Oh, I have a mistake here. That's better. Copy the line. The next variable will be expected response code. Copy the variable, pass it in the double quotes. Now create an integer variable. It will be checks number equals others. In double quotes, I write checks number. Copy the line. Here I write check delay. Copy it, pass it and the variables are ready. Let's call the server URL. I will have to call it several times, so I will need a for loop. int ii equals to zero. Run the loop while ii is less than checks number. And increment ii by one in every run. So before calling the URL, I should sleep. The time will be check delay. And the unit will be seconds. Good. Final string HTTP call status code equals sh for the shell script script 
colon, double quotes, double quotes, double quotes. So you have triple double quotes. For label, I write check server health. And I want to return the output into a variable. Return std out colon true. Print the result, echo the request to URL returned Copy the variable, pass it in the curly brackets. It is HTTP call status code, status code. Let's validate the result. Move the line with the comment into the for block. Write the assert. HTTP call status code should be equal to expected response code. And if it is not equal, Jenkins will fail and show the message, health check, failed. Expected status code, comma, got HTTP call status code. Semicolon, I will zoom out so you see the entire line. It is this one. Very good, you wrote it. Let's create the CURL command. So write CURL dash dash silent. Silent tells the CURL command not to show the progress output. Now I am going to redirect the response output into a file. So I write dash dash output. I write the path to the file, it is dev null. It means the CRL will redirect the output into oblivion. Dev null is a special file that discards all data written into it, but reports that the write operation succeeded. Next, I write write out. Here I will define the output format after the CRL completion. In double quotes, like this, so I have here double quotes and here triple double quotes. And in the double quotes for write out, I put the percentage sign, curly brackets, HTTP underscore code. The request type is get. And now at the end, I put the URL I want to call. So it is the command, CRL, silent output, write out, request, the URL. Zoom out, now you see the entire line. Let's commit it. Here I see that I created a new file. Apply the change, write the commit message, create it. Check server health script, new line. Check up health. Commit and push. Let's write the Jenkins stage. Open the Jenkins file. That is deploy up Jenkins file. At the end, create a new stage. It is here. Check up health. Curly brackets. Copy the options from the previous stage. Paste it here and set the timeout for three minutes. I write my favorite steps and script. I need to get the health check configuration. Final map health check config map equals CI CD project config map. Copy it, open square brackets, open the YAML file, copy line 12, and pass it in the Jenkins file. I have the map. Now I need to call the check server health. Find the file. It is here. Copy its name. I copied. Paste it. 
open parentheses and in the parentheses I will write four variables. The first one is the URL. It is it, copy, past. The second one is expected response code, copy, past. Third one is checks number, past. The last one was check delay, past. Everywhere copy and past health check config map, square brackets, double quotes, copy it. Past, past, past. Very good. Open the YAML, copy the HTTP path, past it in the double quotes, copy response code, past it in the double quotes, copy checks number, past it in the double quotes, copy check delay, and guess, yes, past in the double quotes. The stage is ready. Let's commit it. It is good. Apply. Write the commit message. Create it. Check up health stage. New line. Check up health. Commit and push. It was pushed. Let's run the pipeline. Open the browser. The server is running for 1,100 seconds. Open Jenkins. Login. Go to the folder. Open the pipeline. Build fifth parameters. Source branch is main. This one. And build. Wait. The pipeline is running. Let's open the logs. The server is stopped. The server was restarted. It is running. And after five seconds, I will see the health check. So it sleeps for three seconds. The request to HTTP return 200 status code. And every request return 200 status code. The pipeline status is success. Let's count the number of requests. One, two, three, four. I will show you that the server was restarted. Check the time, refresh, and it is 40 seconds, 41, 42. In the dashboard, you can see the stage. Check up health. It took about 13 seconds. Open the diagram. Make the stage white. Congratulations, you finished the pipeline. Now you can test, backup, and deploy a web server in 40 seconds. If you like the job you did, like my video and write the comment, I did a great job. Praise yourself, you deserve it.